Hi, I'm Lorraine. I'm the founder of UF50.com, of LorraineSelage.com, and my wish and everything I do across social media is to empower women of a certain age, women of any age, but especially midlife women, to be the best selves they can be. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that is close to me and probably close to you, and it is how to get used to progressive glasses. If you're watching this, it's probably because you searched how to get used to them. So I had 20-20 vision all my life, and I'm not going to say that it didn't suck when I realized I needed reading glasses at the age of 47. And so I didn't have to put them on and take them off. I decided that I would go straight to progressives, even though my faraway vision was 2020 and my close-up vision, well, I needed readers. So I wore progressives all day, and unfortunately, my vision has gotten worse. So now that I'm 54 and for the past I don't know, four or five years, I wear not only bifocals, I wear trifocals. So, unless I'm wearing these glasses, I can't really see much, unless I'm wearing my multifocal contacts, which is something I'll talk about in a different video. But here are my tips for getting used to progressive lenses. Now, my progressive lenses have three prescriptions. One of them is for far away. One of them is for mid-range. So, if I get close to you and I really want to see you, I have to lift my gaze a little bit. If I want to read a book, then I have to put it under me. This is my own book, by the way. Um, tu mejor edad, your best age to have a, an extraordinary life. Well, I would have to hold the book here. I can't look at it this way because it's way too close for me. So I would have to lift my eyes or bring the book under so I can see it better. So. I have several pairs of glasses and I'm going to tell you the differences between all of them and what I think you can do or what I did really so that the experience with progressive glasses is kind of seamless with your everyday life. Most people when they start wearing them they complain about a feeling of being in a fishbowl um, because you're, you have three or two different prescriptions and you, of course, are not used to that because you're used to not wearing glasses and being able to move um, your head and everything. And now suddenly your range of vision and the way you need to move to see things has changed. The first thing I would recommend is get over it. Trust me, it was it sickened me to think that, oh, I'm never going to have perfect vision again. And... Uh, but what can I do? And this can happen when you're younger. I mean, it, some people have different prescriptions at any age and they realize that it is easier to have one set of glasses that you use for everything than have to be switching. For me, it's, it's, a, it's a pain, so I prefer to have one set of glasses for everything. So the first thing is really get over it and just, just realize that you're never going to see with glasses the way you see without them or um, you know, it's just something you have to get used to. And as a doctor explained to me, please know I'm not a doctor and I'm not, I'm just giving you my experience as a user. She told me that my brain was really well wired because it's all here. It's not in your eyes. It's in how, uh, in, it's, it's, it's your attitude is so important to get used to progressive glasses that but that's the first thing where you should start is thinking, I really want to do this. So instead of getting used to it little by little, um, just when the doctor gives them to you, put them on and trust me, don't take them off for a week. Even if you're wearing contacts, even if you have other pairs of glasses, because if you don't do that, then you're going to go to back to old habits and the way that you moved your eyes and your head before having to wear progressives. That's one of the things. Second, if by day three, more or less, for me, it's like I, I really switch between them and I'm fine now. But if by day three, you're still not okay with them, and especially if by day seven, you're not okay with them, then go back and request that your glasses be adjusted because it's not that 
all progressive glasses are the same. They are not. There are different kinds of um, lenses. There are different kinds of breaks between where the different areas are so that you can see at different um, distances. So the height of where the line is, even though you don't see the line, uh, can be adjusted. So there are so many things. It has to be adjusted to you, to your lifestyle, what you use them for. So don't be shy. I mean, you're paying a lot of money for glasses. I, I pay even with a discount. I use my ARP discount, by the way, at Pearl Vision. And I'm not getting paid to say this. And I got a 30% discount. And I still paid five or $600 for these glasses in particular. So another thing is once you feel that these are the glasses for you. You have to learn how to move your head differently, how to look differently. You are not going to, as, as I said, we're just not gonna have to you know, be able to see as we used to. So you cannot expect to, to have the eyes you had before you needed glasses. So this is what happens. Um, as I said, my, my prescription is three, three in one. So for far away, when I'm driving and if I'm looking out at the patio of my house, well, I'm looking through the top of my glasses, not, not over the top, but at, through the top part. But then when I look at you to see you really well, I have to learn to adjust and tilt my head. In my case, I, with these, I have to tilt my head a little bit so that I can see really well. So it's the head, down for far, up for mid vision. And as I said before, I'm going to have to hold whatever I'm reading down here. And if the glasses are really well done, you shouldn't, be, you shouldn't have to hold them like this. That's something that I had done in a pair of glasses recently and I did not enjoy it. So I requested um, to have that, the height lifted so uh raised so so that happened and um and i'm really happy i'm really happy with the glasses i've also learned another thing is that because there is really not a good um field of vision the the best the sweet spot is kind of in the middle in all progressive glasses or most of them i'm not going to be able to see out of the corner of my eyes as i used to or when i'm wearing contacts so if I want to see something out of the corner of my eye, there's a person here, um, I'm not really, really going to be able to, to move just my eyes. I will need to move my whole head. And if the person's here, I will have to tilt my head. If it's somebody who's down here, a kid, I would have to look down that way. And if it were a taller person, well, I would have to look up. So you have to learn to move your head. However, if I'm working at the computer and I'm reading things, then I really only have to move my, my pupils or my eyes is I would be reading my computer over here. And then if I had to read something else, only my eyes would go down. If I were looking down at something on my desk and then at my computer, it would only be my eyes. Now, again, my eyes and my head, my head goes where I want to see. So this is what you're gonna notice with people who are progressives is that we move our heads a lot <laughs> because that's the way we can see everything. Now, uh, talking about the difference in height, which I had no idea of before I started wearing progressives, I knew there was something that is called pupillary distance, which, um, well, it's just the distance between your pupils and you can measure it yourself by looking at yourself in the mirror and marking your glasses, not with this pen, but with a Sharpie or with a crayon and then measure in, in millimeters and see what your pupillary distance is. But then there's another thing that needs to be measured when you're wearing progressives, which is the height. So where are your pupils? And, and this is, it can't be just like, it depends on the glasses you're wearing. The pupillary distance is always gonna be the same because your, your, your eyes are always, you know, your eyes are always the same distance apart, hopefully. But then the height 
is dependent on the size of your glasses. So it also depends on whether you like the height to be high or low. Um, I like my mid vision to be high up in the glasses because I have this cool pair of glasses that at least I like a lot, but they have they have a little issue. So I love them. I super love them. I see perfectly far away. These are also trifocals, progressive trifocals. I see perfectly far away. I read really well with them. I do have to hold them a little like the book would have to be closer because the reading area is pretty much at the very bottom. And now here's the issue I have with these is that the mid um, range vision, if I'm at my computer, and it's a laptop, I'm gonna to have to raise my head if the computer's here or even to see myself on, on the camera, I need to go like this. So people are seeing up my nose <laughs> unless they're taller than me. So this is what I don't like about this pair. So I will wear them, I still wear them. Um, and I have to say that I was a, a brand ambassador for transitions lenses, which these the, the lenses are so they turn dark in the sun um, the frames are C so I got these for free as well when I was an ambassador and I love them for nighttime I like I, I think they look sophisticated and all that but now that I'm more used to the other glasses now that I've started learning more about glasses I request that that the midpoint like the medium reading um, the mid-range is higher because otherwise I'm gonna to have to go like this and I really don't want to go around like this when I'm talking to somebody or I just look at them this way and I see everything blurry which is not really what I like I have another pair of glasses because <laughs> you know once I started wearing glasses I just realized that if I had to wear glasses I really needed to have a glass a pair of glasses for everything but so these were prior to the first ones I was wearing. And here the mid-range prescription is also pretty much a little high. And so I really just have to lift my head this much so that I can see what's right in front of me. And there, it does have a, a glitch that, well, they're scratched and it was cheaper to get a new pair of glasses than change uh, the lenses of these. So I just opted for a new pair of glasses but I can still, I still use these because they're my um, everything glasses now that, you know, the, the ones that you just use for whatever, you don't care if they get ruined. And they also have transitions lenses, which means that they get dark in the sun. A lot of people say that um, it's not okay for driving in the sense that they don't get dark in, if you have uh, tinted windows or, but I find that for me, they do get slightly, they go slightly darker and I actually like that very much. So again, these were, I requested that these have the, um, the, the height is, you know, lift the mid-range vision. And it also means that to read, I can look like this instead of holding a book right under my chin. Now, for those who, in addition, these are really, this is what I really like to wear, is not have to worry about, oh, I, I need to read something, let me get a different pair of glasses, and I'm going to drive, so let me get a different pair of glasses, and now I'm going to talk to someone, so let me get a different pair of glasses. But still, I was offered the opportunity to test these that I'm going to show you, and I'm actually really happy with them too, and I carry them around, um, I use them, but these are not progressives at all. So... They're single vision and um, okay, so I don't have a far away pair for these guys, but these are my reading glasses for nighttime. And I say nighttime because really that's the only time that I really just read that I don't need to do anything else. This is the brand, Phonetic Eyewear. Uh, they were gifted to me by the PR and I had already bought a pair actually for my daughter who does not need a prescription, but she is on the computer a lot and she really, really wanted them. So I got them for her and she was super happy. And they um, reduce the amount of blue light that we um, are getting from 
computers and phones and I read on my iPad at night which I probably shouldn't but I do and so um, these I save I have them by my bedside so that at night I switch out my other ones and I only wear these at night so if I'm in bed and and the thing is that when you're lying down I realize that um, the glasses you know if you're against your pillow you could you could be um, ruining the the frame itself so if you have a frame just for when you're in bed well then that's your frame oh and by the way these are not expensive at all uh, I believe they were like 60 some if they're only for reading uh, if they if you don't need any prescription I think they're even cheaper so this is the brand and by the same brand phonetics I have another pair that are my computer glasses now with these I see perfectly mid-range perfectly and my youngest daughter says that it looks like a, one of those snapchat filters or Instagram fake glasses but with these I see super perfectly I don't have to lift my eyes of course I don't have to do anything um, with my head but these are just for the computer for this distance but then I look outside and everything's out of whack and uh, well, I could read, but I would have to hold something really far to read it, which is which is not what I enjoy doing. But these are perfect for computer use, and they are whether with or without a prescription, they work really well, and they really do minimize the eye strain. So back to the progressives that I really love and I know it, it again these are see now I do have to lift my head to see the phone because that's what I'm taping with so I don't know I hope I I inspired you to try them it's one of the best things that I find about progressives is that if you get used to them and you and if you start again it's your brain and I said that these have the mid-range vision in one area th these have it in another and these have it in yet another but I've become so good at switching between them that it takes me less than I would say minutes for my brain to get used to the no um, like well I have to do this but my brain knows it so it's not like I don't have that fishbowl feeling either and when I'm walking um, one of the dangers that that could you know is when if you're walking or doing things outside you do have to get used to um, you know where are you looking if you're looking down at your feet don't look through the bottom of your glasses because that's your reading prescription you do have to actually look down with your head so if you're stepping down and you want to see where you're going or whatever do not look through that's that's when it, that's what's going to give you that fishbowl experience is um, thinking that you can move your head as you used to so again move your head that is the only way to get used to them and only your eyes if the object that you are looking at or the objects are all kind of around you then you can just move your eyes so I encourage you to try it and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments I hope you'll come back and um, and if you like my tips subscribe to my channel <laughs>